What's going on, Dolphins? Uh, it's your boy Dylan, and I got a couple things I want to talk about just real quick. Um, yeah, so let's do it. First things first. Uh, report Le'Veon Bell choosing between Bills, Chiefs, and Dolphins. Running back Le'Veon Bell became a free agent when the Jets released him on Wednesday, but it doesn't sound like he will be one for long. Jeremy Fowler of ESPN reports that Bell currently plans to sign with either the Bills, Chiefs, or Dolphins after hearing from each of those clubs since parting ways with the Jets. Per the report, a decision is expected to come as early as Thursday. Uh, which is obviously today. The Jets play Miami on Sunday, and in Week 12, the Bills in Week 7, and the Chiefs in Week 8. So Bell is likely to get a shot to play against his former team. Dolphins head coach Brian Flores was asked about interest uh, in Bell uh, at Thursday's news conference. That's really more of a question for Chris Greer, Flores said via the Miami Herald. My focus is on the Jets and the players they have on their team. I've said this before, he's a very good player. As a personnel staff and organization, we consider anyone available who can help our team. First of all, I'm going to call bullshit a little bit on that because he has said, I, I mean, I have no doubt that he's planning for the Jets. However, one, I'm calling bullshit for two reasons. One, because he has said in the past that he has had a hand in every single transaction that the Dolphins have made. I don't see why that that would change. Um, yeah, so there's that. But also because they're about to play the Jets and he just came from the Jets. So, yeah, anyway. Um, I mean, not that there's a whole lot of, you know, secrets to be told or you know, advantages to be had, but just saying. Anyway, um, Miles Gaskin leads the Dolphins in rushing with Matt Breida and Jordan Howard behind him on the depth chart. Rookie Clyde Edwards-Hilaire is the starter in Kansas City, and Devin Singletary is the top back on the Bills' depth chart. Uh, Le'Veon Bell uh, choosing between Bills, Chiefs, and Dolphins originally appeared on Pro Football Talk. Anyway, uh, I mean, look, to me, it's a. I don't think the Dolphins should sign him. Um... For numerous reasons, I think that it would be 100% a waste. I, I don't think there's any, you know, because I, I mean, you have, you have uh, Gaskin, Breda, Howard, uh, Patrick Laird. You got several running backs. Where is he going to go on the depth chart? Uh, I think it's going to be a wasted roster roster spot if they do. There's tons of other guys on the roster. Um, you would definitely, especially with injuries starting to crop up for the team, you know, they could use that spot elsewhere. I think it would be a waste of money. I don't think you're really going to get much out of him. I mean, I could be wrong about all those things, but um, I don't know. You know, I, I personally wouldn't wouldn't do it. Um, like I said, I think it would be a complete waste, but we'll see. He apparently is, you know, going to be choosing between us, the Bills, and the Chiefs, and... Um, I mean, honestly, if I got to be real, though, I have a feeling the Dolphins are more likely to take him just because the Bills and the, the Chiefs, they don't really need, you know, why would they bring him in, right? Like, why would they want to deal with that uh, drama that comes with him and so on and so forth and whatnot? I just, it doesn't make sense to me, but you never know. Um, I, I just... I mean, if those are the three teams, I think it's likely out of those three teams, more likely that the Dolphins sign him, but I wouldn't do it. I think it's silly and foolish, and I think it would be a complete waste. Anyway, uh, one other thing I want to touch on real quick is more about this uh, COVID outbreak, and now it has hit the Falcons. Falcons shutting down facility after one new positive COVID-19 test. Just when one NFL outbreak seems to be contained, another one may be rearing its ugly head. The Atlanta Falcons are shutting down their facility and working remotely after one new positive COVID-19 test the team announced on Thursday. ESPN's Adam Schefter initially reported that the Falcons were dealing with four positive tests. A Falcons official told him that as of now, that's not true, but they are still working through details. But they have, apparently they have at least one confirmed. The other three, I guess, potentially could be false positives. I don't know. Schefter also reported that the league is checking other Falcons tests in light of the new positive. The team placed defensive tackle Marlon Davidson on the reserve COVID-19 list on Tuesday, but it's not known whether he tested positive for COVID-19 or if he was just exposed to someone who did. 
What about Sunday's game? The Falcons are scheduled to play the Minnesota Vikings at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. With that game just three days away, it's possible that it could be postponed and moved to a later date. Uh, due to these positive tests, the Tennessee Titans and New England Patriots had games moved due to COVID-19 infections on their teams. It has already been a nightmare for the NFL to reschedule multiple games due to COVID-19. So far, there's been a total of 10 uh, games that have been rescheduled. So far, and we're just getting into week six. Tonight, uh, it's Thursday, so there's Thursday night football. I'm not even sure who's playing, to be honest. Um, but... Uh, tonight's the first night of week six. So we're literally just getting into week six and there have already been a total of uh, 10 games to be played. So it looks like, is there a game tonight? Uh, there might actually not be a game tonight. Is that a thing? Is that really a thing? Yeah, maybe not. I guess not. It doesn't look like there's actually a game tonight. So maybe not. But anyway... Regardless, I mean, we're still just getting into uh, week six. And uh, again, already 10 games have been rescheduled. And now there could be another one uh, on top of it, um, which is obviously just a disaster. Uh, let's see. Commissioner Roger Goodell said during conference call on Tuesday that the key to making it through the season is flexibility. That's why the league is open to adding a week 18 and even delaying the Super Bowl. The trend of outbreaks and delayed games continues. The NFL may have no choice but to do that. If the if the trend continues, I mean, again, to, let, okay. So think about it like this. Through five weeks, through five weeks, 10 games have had to be rescheduled. If the trend continues, that means if it stays on pace as it is now and it doesn't get worse. Now, there's also the possibility it gets better. We'll see. Uh, but if it doesn't get worse and the trend just simply continues on as it is now, that would mean that per every five weeks, they would have to reschedule 10 games. That's a third of the games. Or something like that. Actually, no. I'm sorry. That's that's not accurate. I was thinking uh, out of the teams. Anyway, what I don't know how many games it is, but that's a lot of fucking games per five weeks. That's absurd. Mm -hmm. I mean, that means through weeks six through ten, there would be another ten games postponed. Then, uh, let's see, then ten, uh, then eleven through fifteen, another ten games. And then the last two to three weeks of the season, probably another five games. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, it's, it's, I mean, that's absurd. Like, to say, to say that if things stay on pace, they'll have no choice but to, to, you know, add a week 18 and push the Super Bowl back. I would agree with that. However... They will have to have pushed it back then like multiple times, not just once, if not flat out cancel. I mean, it's anyway, I mean, it's it's absurd. This whole fucking thing is absurd. And but what do you do? What do you fucking do, man? Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just that shit's crazy anyway. So I just I'm sorry. I got a little distracted because I saw a. a an alert that said the Chiefs and Bills are the front runners to land Le'Veon Bell. I don't know why that would be the case, though. I just, I can't really understand why those two, those two teams are fucking, I mean, I guess maybe they want to try and ensure that they are, you know, best of the best in the league, but those are two of the best teams in the league right now, like, and the Chiefs, as far as I can tell, haven't had, like, you know, a ton of injuries, and the Bills have had certainly their fair share but not as bad as some other teams right like not as bad as the 49ers for example um but yeah i mean i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see like i said uh, or like the report said there's a chance that the decision is made today and if that happens then i'll make another video letting you guys know so yeah anyway uh that's all i got i'm gonna get out of here i hope you guys appreciate my perspectives if you do hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell if you want to get the alerts share my channel and videos with your friends and family leave your questions comments and concerns down in the comment section and of course as always follow me on twitter at dylan tartaro and with that i'm out i'll see y'all soon fins up